Hi, Keith here, Mark's behind the camera, and today on our summer art series, we're gonna do a little anime character. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to begin with a very simple skeleton, and then I will build a, a build the body around it, and then add the detail, the, you know, skin, <laughs> clothing, stuff like that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna start with the head. I like to use uh, use a circle. Uh, I like having a center line, and the jaw comes down. Now, while Keith's using his finished drawing as reference, we do have a small drawing guide available for you to download that has some of the key. Steps. So the skeleton, right. a little fleshed out, a little more fleshed out, uh, for you to use as reference. Uh, if you don't feel like watching this video over and over and over again, link for that will be in the description. And I may not do it exactly like what you see in the thing, but it'll be it'll be close enough. Um, one of the things about this figure, if you look, she's supporting her. She, she's got her hip out. She's got her hip out, so she's really supporting herself on one leg, uh, and uh, which is the right-hand side. Uh, so when I draw this figure, what I want to do is I want to get that spine to kind of give that little bit of a feel that it it's her body's turned a little bit and her hip is out. Um, oftentimes I will use a uh, triangle shape, more or less, for the uh, hip. But if you look, you'll see that this, uh, that my uh, leg on the right hand side is doing most of the support of the body. So you can almost see how it's almost under the entire body. Um, so let's go from here. Um, let's add. I am going to add, what am I going to add? Oh, were you sizing up proportions? Yeah, I'm making sure my proportions are are right. So I think I am. So how tall is she? Uh, she's a 5'8". I have no idea. Well, I mean, don't Relatively. usually go by heads. Yes, so exactly. So you want to use the height of her head? Yeah, it, you know, I mean, a head uh, gets you to the middle of the stomach which is kind of where the narrow part of the, uh, of the figure. Um, and that's also where her elbows meet her rib cage, basically, um, the bottom of her rib cage. So um, I'm just going to keep going here. Um, so I'm not going to put the arms in yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the, put the body in. I'm going to add a little bit of a chest and then swing out so it gets narrow, then it swings out. And then this side, same thing. Now, I think my girl looks a little fat. That's body shaming, Keith. Shame on you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow her down a little bit because this looks a little too too much. There, that's better. And then same same over here. We don't want the we don't want the hip to get too heavy. So I think right about there, and get some now I'm going to go ahead and kind of figure out where the arms go. Where the wrists go. And 
and where the ice cream goes. And obviously that's the most important thing. All right. Okay, I think. So you know, narrower, narrower waist, and just a little less hip, bringing it in a little bit more. There, that looks better. All right, um, then we want to make this arm. I think. I think we are got our frame pretty good now. Um, so at this point, what I'll do is I'll start rounding everything off and cleaning it up. So I'll start with her arm. Adding a little texture to the shirt, little folds and stuff. Okay, so the arm comes down. Sleeveless shirt. Folds. Come to this side, get the other side of her chest. This is all fairly smooth on this side. So the pants Here, kind of tight, so we get these creases in. Again, this side, we just clean this arm up a little bit. Now, if I were sketching this at home, I would not be sketching, obviously, this dark. This is just so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so, like I said, this would be much softer. I got it like a hanky or a, not a hanky, a uh, paper towel or whatever in one hand. Okay. Ah, all right. So, little V neck. And get rid of the center line on her body. Just fill out her chest a little bit. All right.
Okay. Now hands, very important. People tend to make hands a little too small. So you really want to try to, whatever you think it is, <laughs> make it bigger. I swear. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, nobody ever quite gets them quite right. And there's nothing worse than hands that are too small. It's creepy. There was a Burger King commercial there for a few years that were showing people with hands too small to pick up a Whopper. I swear to God, that was the... Every time that commercial came on, I would panic and change the channel very quickly. All right, so good, good. As you can see... got a little size on this on both these hands except for that thumb I'm gonna say it it is better to have hands that are slightly too big than to have hands that are too small all right I only draw characters with their hands in their pockets so I don't That's... have to worry about it <laughs> Trust me when I say I have many students that follow your school. All right. So, all right. Now, hair. Okay, so we have the head now. What I'm going to do is kind of create the guidelines for my eyes so that they're hopefully the same size. That's always creepy when they're not. All right. You want your eyes kind of wide apart. Now, she isn't quite looking at us. She's got, like, ice cream thoughts. Okay. All right, and if you'll notice in this picture, the little nose is right between the eyes at the bottom. And let me see here. What I need to check is I may have... No, I think she's okay. All right, so I'm just going to bring that nose down just a hair more. Now let's talk about hair. Hair or ears. Let's talk about ears. So in this picture, her ears are a little bit low. Okay, now, hair. Hair has body, so you want the hair to come up kind of off the, the skull, okay? In this picture, I've got it kind of clipping around to the, to her ears, so it's very short. And then basically, See how I put a guideline for the bangs? I go. Now they don't have to all go to a point. Some can just go to a kind of a squared off front. I like that because it looks like bangs going across. It's not all pointy. Okay. Just got little triangle earrings. Okay, so now 
I think I can go ahead and put in the highlight and the um, pupil. Oh, we were your pupil. I, tiny people everywhere. All right, so I'm going to do it again. You want that highlight in the same place. We want our both our eyes kind of looking in the same direction. We're just funny that way. And open that up a little bit. Cute little nose, quirky little mouth. I have a little bit of hair popping up here and there. So at this point, I'm going to go in and start cleaning out lines. And start rounding out, round out, round out her face a little bit. And I think my eyes in the drawing I'm doing is are a little bit smaller, but acceptable, acceptable. Like I said, very rarely do I get things to work exactly the same twice. All right, very cool. All right, now I'm going to grab, oh, let me see if I can grab a kind of a large micron, a large tip. And what I like to do is more of a sketching rather than a hard line where you're being real careful. Now we don't want to get too weird, but I think it just makes it a little more fun if it's a little more sketchy rather than getting those perfect lines. You're, you're almost treating it like a pencil. Now you don't want to get too sketchy. And you do want to have a few good lines in there. Whee! All right. Like I, like I think Mark said earlier, we do have a guide. So download it. Links in the description. I love hair. I like doing it. And honestly, I would have loved to do a little marker work with you. The uh, Copic or the Prismacolor. And 
during this long COVID adventure, a lot of them dried up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get some new sets, I guess. Actually, I've been thinking about getting myself some COVID, COVID, Copic markers for the color. I've always been a big fan of Prismacolor, but... Uh, you should try anything you'd like, Keith, and make sure you tell us about it in a video in the future. I will. But my students, uh, a lot of my students have the Copex, they're refillable, blah, blah, blah. And I've always been a Prismacolor fan. I mean, the color's great. Um, but... I think their caps are horrible. They <laughs> keep popping off. They got them in the the soft bags, and I think any movement they pop off, you know. So nothing a little piece of tape can't solve. Uh, yeah, when you got seventy-two of them, seventy-two pieces of tape <clears throat> problem solved. Doesn't sound like fun at all. I mean, if you're asking me and all. It all wasn't. right. So edge. <laughs> As you can see, like I said, you can have a little looser. So, you know, the width of your pen can vary a little bit. So it isn't all just uh, one, uh, one size width. All right. So if I'm doing black and white and I'm not going to color them up, I'll go ahead and I'll fill in the um, pupils and then I'll kind of shadow down using line. Making sure that I don't hit my little white spot. You know, for that far, we can't see what you're doing. Sorry. Better? Yes. Yes? Yes. Look at the back of your head. Too much of my head? Dang. Alright, I think at this point, I think it's mostly decoration. Alright, well, mostly finishing. Down here, I had a couple bracelets. And what, a napkin. What, uh, what pen thickness are you using? I'm using a, a, a 05, fairly heavy, mostly because I want you guys to be able to see it. Um, do I use lighter? Usually. 
But if you if your line is too thin, you start doing a lot of coloring. You know, you're gonna you're gonna lose a lot of detail. So I kind of recommend that you use something a little heavier. All right. Well, now you're drawing pretty much full page on an eight by ten or eight and a half by eleven, roughly. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recommend people learn to draw on large, larger or smaller? Larger the better. Um, what happens is a lot of people get really good drawing very small things, and it's because you got a little more control. You're you're just doing a little area. You got to Get an 11 by 14 uh, book, uh, sketchbook. Uh, don't get these cute little things. I, I see so many of the kids, they have these cute little things, you know, and they are cool, you know, they look good. Problem is, you're drawing so small, I think you really need the opportunity to, to kind of grow it a little bit, you know, to get it to work a little bit bigger so that you can draw a circle this big, you know. It just tell you it, it's gonna help it helps your drawing everybody's drawing on templates now and that's that's you know kind of cool um, I would prefer you did your painting or draw you know but I would do my illustration with my hands if you know what I mean um, and import it in so anyway little bit of a rush but kind of gives you a pretty good idea I would also recommend getting the the work the worksheet anyway paper makes a difference too yes you're not drawing on inkjet printer paper or a regular copy paper get something with some tooth tooth to it uh, Stratmore makes a good brand there's a, yeah. there's a couple brands that are out there that you know Can't 80 pound or thicker usually they have a weight on it 80 100 120 uh, you know, look for something that I would say 80 or higher yeah. that gives you the opportunity to not only do your pencils but when you ink or color if you decide to use paint or a marker uh, it's not going to turn your paper into a soggy mess. It can actually handle. Oh, what do I know? I'm just the guy behind the camera. Well, but that's the important job. And you're not, and you are not wrong. <laughs> um, some things you might want to do specialty papers. Like if you are going to go ahead and do, um, what do you call this stuff? Um, uh, marker you might want to get a marker paper um, but you know I've seen kids use everything and I'm often amazed at the quality um, of the different papers that are out there now so um, anyway I think that's close enough close enough the other thing about the worksheet you know if you're having trouble with proportions and stuff you can measure on the worksheet you just go okay <laughs> so you know measure the worksheet work from that okay uh, until you get comfortable uh, with proportions and and I think you'll be fine anyway I think uh, I think I'm about done here I'm not gonna obviously I'm not gonna color it um, so thanks for watching uh please subscribe to my channel and uh, check out rkmcguire.com we've got the drawing template for this or the guide and for other things plus material lists and all kinds of good stuff prints for sale check it out it's fun take care bye-bye now